and they make us dependent they make us feel isolated so that we not we don't feel strong enough to even fight back and the more and more they give convenience that's really like the the double-edged sword in society right now what's good youtube is vex reaction i'm back with another reaction video we've been going for a little while we've been going for a little while i've been over on my other channel handling business i've been on twitch handling business but today we got tom mcdonald the machine now this is a new drop i don't know what it's about but Usually, you know it's deep, so let's see what he got. Hop into it. I am not it. Republican. I am not a liberal. What? Come on, YouTube. I got YouTube I am premium. Not a Republican. I am not a liberal. Why the hell can I just be American without getting political? The system gonna suppress us all. They don't care about the cost. How's this a democracy when we got communists in charge? Cancel culture, Nazis, all they're missing is the swastikas. Honestly, this is a psychological holocaust. Pumping propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain. You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Dang. The theory is indoctrinating children. The blacks are disadvantaged. The whites need a white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce the vision. If whites believe they have Bro, I'm not even gonna lie though. What he talking about he is really hell, bro. I feel like everything so far has been division and they really, really intricate in the way that they put it in our face, bro. I don't know how this how this happened, bro. Cause me personally, a lot of the times I don't be caring about what everybody be saying and this, that, and the other, because I know what I got going on. All that other stuff, I know you care about this, you care about that, you make this a big deal. But it's not my reality, bro. And sometimes that's hard because people will try to push their reality on you or it's so many people around you who got this ideology or who got this belief and they try to push that or make you come to some type of conclusion. But at the end of the day, it's not your reality, bro. You have power over yourself and sometimes it do influence your life. But for the majority of the time, you got power over yourself, bro. But they definitely divisive with the way that they use like Division. Your way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system. And now they burn in books in untraditional ways. It is traded newspapers for the digital age. Facts. The facts can be deleted with no physical flames. That has changed the information and the truth gets erased. Facts. They keep screaming to wake up. Progressive and traditional are hitmen hired to kill the individual. They label people red or blue, divide us, they don't ever help. They want you thinking left or right, so you ain't thinking for yourself. Go ahead and vote, because both the parties are the same side. Two teams, one coach, controlled by the same guys. Left wing, right wing, both help the same bird fly. Brainwashing everybody at the same time. The internet was once a place that we could get our facts from. Now it's been monopolized. It's Google or it's Amazon. Who fact checking? Facts. Bro, and then they be saying it's illegal to have a monopoly? Amazon? Who is doing it like Amazon, bro? It's hella monopolies right now. Helly monopolies. Answer that one. The people who control the narratives through the platform. Let me break this down for you. Simple as I can, Kate. They use social conditioning to put you in the rat race. It doesn't matter if you're first or third or if you're last place. You're still a rat and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. Fast. They keep screaming to wake up the Bro, he is on here spitting crazy, bro. I love how every time he get on a song, he make you think. And even though some of the points that he make are points that he's already made, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm hammering it to you so you don't forget. You know what I'm saying? So you constantly reminded that they are against us, bro. Not only the individuals, but us as a group. And they've divided us into individuals and attacked our individual groups. Like, come on, bro. Like, they really got us like pinned down and like handled like they really domesticating us however they want us to you know what i'm saying they make us dependent they make us feel isolated so that we not we don't feel strong enough to even fight back 
and the more and more they give convenience, that's really like the the double edged sword in society right now. Convenience, convenience, convenience. You know what I'm saying? Nobody know how to do anything because they give it. They, they make it convenient, so convenient that you rather spend your money that don't have no actual value to get it. Instead of you learning the skills in school, they'll teach you how to go and work for money so that you can participate in the system, bro. It's crazy. And we just sit there and let it happen because that's all we know. That's that's what our parents had. Because we like, what are we going to do? That's how a lot of people feel. A lot of people feel like, what are we going to do? What can I do as an individual? So a lot of people just play along and, and, and run in the rat race and try their best to make that make it the happiest they can instead of being sad. Dang, bro. He really be spitting, bro. How y'all feel about school? Y'all feel like school need to be rewired and changed? I feel like a lot of stuff is like really, really outdated. Really, really outdated. But it's, I feel like it's outdated because instead of us spending a large amount of our money here in the country, like fixing the, the issues that we have and the problems, we don't fix the issues and the problems because to the people who controlling it, it's not a problem. They got us right where they want us. To us, it's a problem. But to them, why would they fix the school system if the school system continuously producing what they want? A worker. Why would they fix the, the infrastructure when... They don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody pushing them to do that. And it's crazy, bro. Hopefully one day I can get some money because I want to try to at least give back. We may not be able to change the thing overnight, but I want to be able to take a chunk out of it, you know? Dang, bro. It teaches you to learn. It never teaches you to think. So you absorb misinformation, then you practice what they preach. You ain't free. Can't you see that's how they want you to act? It's called conforming to the norm. You don't need freedom for that. I'm not Republican or liberal or left-wing or right-leaning. I took the red pills because that's what's fighting for my freedoms. And you don't need to choose to be accepted. They both fake teams. Evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy. They keep screaming to wake up, but That was a bop. That was a bop. That was a vibe. This is always a, a vibe whenever we listen to Tom. You know, they got the perfect machine built for us. And that's what the song was about, bro. The perfect machine for, for all types of people. Rich people, poor people. They made sure everybody could get this system. <laughs> they made sure everybody could get a little piece of this and get a little stroke. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it's crazy that we, you know, just born into this. But at the end of the day, we can't pout. We can't complain. We can't keep crying. We're going to have to, you know, do something or it's going to keep happening. It's really that simple, you know. One of the things that I find really, really crazy about the whole politics and stuff like that is, like, the candidate's not the best candidates, bro. It's like, and then it's like, if they're not the best candidates, well, where is the best candidate, bro? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's all sloppy. Everything is so sloppy that it's like, it's low-key, like, like... I don't know how to how to word it, bro. It's discouraging. That's the word. It's discouraging because it's that sloppy. Like the country is just that sloppy at this point. And don't nobody know what to do or where where are we going, where are we headed. We just feel like a bunch of chickens out here with our heads cut off, and we feel like we got just our brain. You're like, I don't know, bro. Let me know how y'all felt about this one down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? If you did, make sure you go stream it, check it out. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want some more Tom McDonald. We're going to continue to get these Tom McDonald videos in. We're going to get some older videos in and, you know, you know how it go, bro. I love to hear the Tom Tom McDonald stuff. It give me great talking points. It give me great conversations. Um, So, without further ado, I'm out. Peace and love. I hope you have a great day. Don't let none of this stuff get you down. You know what I'm saying? Just do your best, bro. Do your best because we ain't got a, a lot of time on this earth. You know, and once we gone, all of this stuff going to be gone, bro. All of this stuff going to be behind us in the past. <sighs> I'm out, y'all.